In this discussion, you can see how to execute insert, update, delete or select query using raw SQL queries. Well, crude operation performs both way using Odoo's ORM framework or using SQL query. Let's see how to perform queries. First, I'm going to an editor. It would be good if you know the how to connect Postgres database using Python using PyCopyG2 library. It's very easy. But if you if you don't know, then don't worry about this one. We will clear all the doubts here. So first thing is in Python, we don't need to use any database name while connecting to the database. It's already connected with the database while you logged in into this Odoo system. So in last discussion, we already discussed about ENV, right? ENV or self dot ENV. Like this environment variable having a cursor of the database. So you can directly perform any operation using that cursor. So we don't need to create any extra cursor until unless you have to connect with other database, but performing different operations or using another threads. Right now, we will focus about only environment cursor variable. So here I'm using like CR, this one, and this one is already connected with the Postgres database and the database name is Odoo underscore 14. So let me show you the database name, cr.db name. So you can see we already connected this Odoo underscore 14. Now we are doing first operation is select query. To do, we have to use something like this self.env or else directly you can use env. Like right now I'm using like this one env then after cr then after dot we have to use execute command and inside this execute command so inside this execute method we have to use like the row query select star from school underscore student then after we have to press enter key and then we have to use something like this fetch all and once I will click enter, you can see it will return all the records from the school underscore student table. So you can perform all the operations, something like this count. And then you can fetch all the results like total 10 records is available. For the double check, we can go to here and go to student profiles and you can see total 10 records is available without archived any records so again go to here so this is the first case like you can perform the select operation now we will perform one more operation is insert operation like we can insert one student profile inside school underscore student table like self then after dot env then after cr then after execute and here we have to use something like this insert into school underscore student and here i am giving as a name and values like Weblands student and try to commit this one and once I will go to front end side and refresh the page and go to here in false student profile you can see it's created here if i will add to this active then it will available here we already added here this student profile using raw query one more thing is you can also update the existing records using update query like selects 
thereafter env cr execute and here we have to use something like this update school student set total fees equal to 200 where id equal to 11 this 11 id which we already created here this one so you can see total fees is right now zero and we are trying to update 200 using raw query and if i'm going to here and again go here you can see still it's zero because we didn't commit yet so here we have to use this self.env.cr.commit method we have to call once you will call this one it will automatically commit the change and once we you can see here like the total fees is now 200 now again i'm going to here terminal and you can perform any operations let's say delete query delete from school underscore student where id equal to 11 and if i'm going to here in browser you can see still it's there it's not deleted yet so i have to commit first and if i'm going to again here and refresh the page you can see it's deleted so something like this way you can use the raw query directly from backend well some questions rise in your mind like why you are using this sql queries instead of odoo's default orm methods the reason is whenever you are working with huge data in terms of generating reporting then you can use this sql statements otherwise please don't use this sql statement because whenever you are performing specially crude operations like insert update or delete that time while execute this raw sql query like it will bypass all the orm and odoo security rules so that's the disadvantage while using this raw query let me show you one more example for better understanding i'm just creating new student profile using sql statement like this and let me commit this one also i'm updating the same one like active equal to true and commit if i'm going here in front end side and refresh you can see it's created now i will show you the disadvantage name equal to id then after create uid create debt and let me upgrade the module also and go to here and refresh the patch now you can see here like created by and created on an id i already added in list view here so main difference is like you can see this all 10 records created by orm framework and this one only this last one created by sql statement forgot about users and all so you can see here the main difference like this create created by then after created on this this two field is missing while creating this new student profile using an insert statement then after one more thing is let's say i'm login as an administrator 
but uh, there is a one logics like in button click event if you are using something like this like you are just bypass this one like using like using this statement something like this in your custom method then what happened is like it will bypass all the rules and regulations also or do security checkpoints it will bypass and it will directly insert into database so that's the main drawback while using the raw query and yes one more thing is if you have a huge data and uh, you want to optimize your reports that time you can use raw query that's fine but for the insert update or delete you just you can just use default ORM methods not the raw query so this is the case like you have to remember let me add here self dot env cr dot execute in short from button click well this is our student name right now and self dot env dot cr dot commit and active and I'm adding as a true and just restarting the service no need to upgrade the module and once I will go to here and click to any of the student profile and once I will click here oops we have error object has no attrib attribute execute okay spelling mistake and click here if I'm go here you can see the new record is created but the thing is like this created by when it this record is created all information is missing using SQL statement so that's the difference between the ORM frameworks default methods and raw SQL queries so something like this way you can use this sql dot sorry self dot env dot cr dot execute and one more thing is you can also use another way like self dot underscore cr something like this and then execute both statement is true self dot underscore cr dot commit if you will not use this env so that time you can use just underscore then after cr something like this let's see go to here open any student profile and click here oops sorry for that execute spelling mistake and once you will click here okay it's done and again boom it's created a new student profile without other informations but you can see here let me create a new one okay the same one and once I will click here and go to in list view you can see like this Sunny Leone profile is created and what was the user like as administrator and date and time so this is the difference between raw query and uh, ORM framework crude operation So something like this way you can 
perform all the SQL statement related operations using like this self dot underscore CR or self dot env dot CR. If you have any doubt, please comment below and see you in next session.